Hey everybody. Okay, so this is another fun technique using ink or uh, I've got the Golden High Flow Acrylics um, Thin Liquid uh, Media. And what we're going to use today, this is, this is the Walmart brand, but this is um, Canned Air. So this is the kind of thing you use to uh, clean your keyboard and your electronics, and it's it's a it's a duster product. We're going to use that canned air to move ink around today, and make some interesting mixed media papers. So I'm just going to start with I'm going to start with the magenta. I'm just going to put a drop down just to show you what this does. So a drop of ink and the canned air. You can control how much you, um, you know, press the trigger and you can control the direction that the air is going. And you can see all those little spider webby things that you can get from blasting it. Now, if you blast this real heavily, you will see that, number one, you'll feel that the can gets really cold, and you will see almost a frost uh, appearing on your can because this this pressurized air is is very cold when it comes out. But once that frosty part uh, cools back to room temperature, uh, it'll disappear and you will just be left with your ink. So yeah, as it warms up, you're just left with your ink. So you can do some really fun, uh, interesting uh, kinds of marks, very organic kinds of marks. Just that was one little drop of ink. So I'm going to put one drop here purple. This is Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay ink. And then I'm going to shoot it from the top, let it go the directions it wants to go. And like I said, it gets, gets that little frost on it. If I put my hand behind it, it warms it up again. And then the frost dissipates. And you just are left with those really fun ink things. Um, this is Golden High Flow Acrylics. So it's a very liquid kind of thing. Ooh, big blob of that. And then we're going to hit that with the canned air. And like I said, it takes a little practice, but you can get to where you can control. Now this seemed to dry much quicker than my ink. Um, yeah, so I'm liking, liking this. You can go with bigger blobs, so you could do, you know, a line of ink to start out with, or some drips. Get that dripping around, and then come in uh, and spread it with your canned air. And you can control your direction. And you can get some really, really fun effects. So I'm going to set that one aside and let it dry. <clears throat> and let's see. I'm just going to do this on some wrapping paper. Uh, and I've got a, a glass fountain pen kind of thing. Uh, so just black India ink. Dip the glass tip in here. And I can I can actually draw lines with this. If I get enough ink on the on the tip, I can draw some great lines with this usually. 
And then I can take those lines and I can spread, spread them around. And you, could, you know, you could create an entire piece of paper with ink, um, the kind of, the spattery things. Spider whips is what they look like to me. So I've just got some ink all around here and I'm going to spread it, feather it out. As long as it's still wet, it'll still move with the air. Okay, we'll let that, you can see the frost on there and this is freezing cold to hang on to. So maybe get your mittens out, but I'm gonna let that cool down. I'm gonna let the ink dry and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do, do some other, I'm going to do some, I like the effect of the colored inks uh, on black and white images. So I think this time I'm going to mix two colors with the canned air. Oops. That's kind of cool. You can see the magenta underneath just, just a little bit. We'll go ahead and put some more on top <clears throat> and spread those around. really adds a unique touch. So if you're kind of running out of mark making ideas and you want some interesting colorful marks or you want to add some you know darker marks like that or you want to create your own pattern on a piece of paper then I say give the canned air and ink a try. I'm gonna let these dry. I'm gonna come back and make a little collage out of these unique papers. Okay, so my ink is finally dry. Where it looks really shiny, uh, that is the ink itself, but it is dry. I really like this piece. I wanna use this as a background. So I think I'm gonna Got my five inch by five inch piece of watercolor paper. And I think I'm going to just rip this down a bit. background I just I love love the way some of these turned out <clears throat> okay so I'm going to glue this down Trim it a little bit. I'm 
Okay. And then I've got a couple different focal points. I think I like this guy. I want to add one more thing. So I really like this black. I love the spatters. I think what I'm going to do is add a circle. I'm looking at the back of my circle punch so I can line up exactly where I want those little spider webby things. And maybe right there at the top of his baton. Maybe right there, as if he's just as if he's holding that piece. I think I like that. So I'm gonna glue my little conductor guy down. Right about there. And this little piece. As if he's holding it, balancing it on his fingertips. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. I love, love, love the purple spider webby and then the spider webs in the circle there. So that is using ink and canned air to create mixed media papers that are totally one of a kind and unique.